Hi, Kevin here. Today we're fixing a classic French side dish called pomme de terre duchesse, or more simply, duchess potatoes. Now, duchess potatoes consist of a puree of mashed potatoes, egg yolks, butter, some seasonings, and the puree is forced through a piping bag into decorative shapes and then baked off in a hot oven until golden. They are spectacular to eat. All right, let's get started. All right, so what I have here is one and a half pounds of potatoes. Now, these are Yukon Gold potatoes that I grew in my garden. You could use russet potatoes. You could use any good mashing or boiling potato. All right, and I'm going to peel these and cut them up, and then I'll come back to show you the next step. I've cut the potatoes into, oh, smallish pieces so that they all will cook quickly and evenly. And then I'm going to put these into a big pot of cold water. Then I'm going to bring this to a boil over the stove and when we reach the boil, I'll come back. All right, the water has achieved a boil, so now I'm going to add about a teaspoon of salt. I'm using kosher salt here. And then I'm going to let the potatoes boil until they are tender, and that's going to take about 20 minutes or so. All right, my potatoes are all cooked, and I've drained off the water. And now I have the pot just over the lowest flame and I'm letting the potatoes dry out. In other words, the heat under the pot is helping the moisture from the potatoes to evaporate. Just like that. And then we're ready to mash. I'm going to use this potato masher, but you could use this kind of potato masher, if that's what you have. Again, I'm doing this just over a very low flame. You zoom in so you can see a little better. Okay, now these are nice and dry. I'm going to cut the heat and then going to add three tablespoons of room temperature butter. And then I'm going to stir the potato mixture just until the butter melts. You want the butter to be distributed throughout the potatoes. Oh, this smells really nice already, but then I love the smell of mashed potatoes. And in case I forgot to mention it, Duchess potatoes are terrific to serve for Thanksgiving. You can even make the Duchess potatoes well ahead of time, weeks, even months ahead of time because they freeze beautifully. All right, we're looking good here. Now I want to add my seasonings. I'm going to add just a half teaspoon of salt and some grinds of black pepper. You could use white pepper if you have it on hand. And I want to add, oh, about a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Nutmeg has such a beautiful scent. I don't normally add nutmeg to regular mashed potatoes, but I always add it to Duchess potatoes. 
Stir that in. And again, this is off heat. And I want to let this cool down just a little because I'm going to be adding egg yolks and I don't want the yolks to scramble. All right, I'm about ready to add the egg yolks, but I wanted to tell you, preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, and what I have here are three uh, yolks from large eggs, and I did beat them. Let me get you set up so you can see. All right, my potatoes are warm, but they are not hot. In other words, I don't want to scramble the yolks. Get all of the yolks in there. Okay, and then stir this in. Just stir, stir slowly but constantly. What we're doing is really creating a dough. This over here. Yeah, I haven't made these Duchess potatoes in about one year, but I did serve them at our teeny tiny Thanksgiving gathering last year. During, <laughs> teeny tiny because it was during the worst part of the pandemic. We're going to have another teeny tiny Thanksgiving this year. All right, scrape this off. Okay, now we're going to add this to a piping bag. All right, so what I have here is a large piping bag and I'm going to use a large star tip. And I've put my piping bag in this vase just to make it easier to fill. All right. In you go. It's very easy to fill the bag this way. And again, my oven is preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, move this out of the way. Then you'll want to pipe the Duchess potatoes onto a baking sheet. You can lightly grease a baking sheet or you could line the baking sheet with parchment paper. I lined mine with parchment paper and I just sprayed it very, very lightly with some non-stick cooking spray. Now, I want to force the potato mixture down to the bottom of the bag. There we go. Okay, let's see. And then you twist the top of the bag like this. Hold on. Okay, as I said, it's been a year since I've made these Duchess potatoes, so bear with me while I try to make decorative shapes. Let me make sure you're coming out of here. And there we go. Okay, so I'm going to make these little swirls. Let me move you down so you can see. And you can make the potatoes as large or as small as you like. That looks 
kind of neat. Zoom you in even more so you can really see. Yeah, I like using star tip. Very easy to make nifty designs with a star tip. Okay, I'm going to finish piping these out and then I'll come back. All right, have a look. So all of my Duchess potatoes have been piped out. And I had a little bit of the mixture left over, so I just piped out, you know, some lines over here. You can do any shapes you, you'd like. You know, you can be really creative here. Now, let me talk to you for a moment. Now, if you wanted to make your Duchess potatoes way ahead of time, like today is October 19th, let's say I wanted these for November, you know, whenever Thanksgiving is, what you can do is put these in the freezer and when they're solidly frozen you can transfer them to Ziploc bags and then when you're ready to bake just preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and put the frozen Duchess potatoes on a baking sheet pop them in the oven until they turn golden of course I'm going to bake these right now so you can see the finished product and these are going to bake for about 15 minutes, just until they turn golden. All right, I'll come back when these are done. Oh, in the uh, first published recipe for Duchess potatoes, which was, I think, 1746, the potatoes were not brushed with an egg wash before baking, but in, I think it was 1895, in the Fanny Farmer, I think it was called the American Cookbook or something like that, she did recommend brushing an egg wash on the Duchess potatoes before popping them into the oven. And of course the egg wash would help them to color. But I think they color pretty well even without the egg wash. Okay, see you in a minute. All right. Here are the potatoes duchess straight out of the oven and as you can see they've turned golden but they are not charred. I did have them in the oven for 20 minutes and look. See how they hold their shape? Oh, very hot. Okay, when these cool down a bit uh, we'll cut into one. All right, these have cooled a bit, so I'm going to cut into one so you can see what the interior looks like. See, these are crispy on the outside and they are creamy and wonderful on the inside. Taste. Delicious. Okay, well, I have a meatloaf in the oven, so we're going to enjoy these Duchess potatoes with the meatloaf and another side of peas. These will also be good with, you know, just about anything. Um, a hamburger, a Beyond Burger, of course, a Thanksgiving turkey, and just, you name it, they're really wonderful. So I hope you'll give them a try and I will post the list of ingredients in the description box below. Isn't this beautiful? Okay, thank you so much for watching. Please give these a try. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.